So let's talk about analyzing an x first t graph. The first thing that you need to know is that the slope represents the object's velocity whenever you're looking at an x first t graph. There are two different types of x first t graphs. You're going to have a linear representation and then you're also going to have an exponential representation. Okay, so let's talk about the first kind, the linear representation. Keep in mind that the direction of the object's motion is always determined by the slope, aka the velocity. So in this picture, if we have a positive slope, that means we have a positive velocity, which means the object is moving to the right or positive. So when it says describe the motion of the object, I always like to say it's going to the right. If you want to say it's going forward or positive, that's fine. Okay. So again, the direction of the object's motion is always determined by the velocity, which on an x versus t is the slope. The next, we have to look at the three different lines, a, b, and c. To determine the greatest velocity, we want to look at the slopes, and I have a trick. If it is more vertical, then it's moving faster. If it's more horizontal, then it's moving slower. So the greatest velocity would be line a. Okay. So just write your trick down. Okay. <coughs> Looking at the next graph, we see that the slope is now negative. So we have a negative velocity. When we have a negative velocity, we know the object is moving to the left or negative or backward or the opposite direction that it came from. Okay, same trick applies here. The most vertical line is going to be the greatest velocity. So in this case, the most vertical line is line C. Okay, that's basically whatever you are talking about here. Now, if you have a linear representation, please make sure you understand that linear means we have a constant velocity. It is not speeding up, it is not slowing down, okay? It maintains the same velocity the entire trip. When you get to a nonlinear and exponential, then you have acceleration. So in this picture, the direction of motion is still determined by the slope. Right? So we have a positive slope. It's moving away from zero or in the upward direction. So that's positive velocity for both of them. They're the same direction. Okay, And now we know that they're going to be accelerating, meaning it's not constant velocity anymore. So which line is becoming more horizontal? Well, if you take your pen and you trace the line as you go forward or upward, line A becomes more horizontal. So that means the object is moving to the right and slowing down. Okay, my trick is uh, laying down, slowing down, and standing up, speeding up. Okay, so if it's becoming a more vertical, then I know it's going to be speeding up. If you run a race, you're standing, right? You're vertical. So the faster you're going, the more ho vertical you get. So line B is moving to the right and speeding up. Looking at graph number four, which one is becoming more vertical? So now we have a negative slope, negative velocity, meaning we're going to the left, and line A is now becoming more vertical. So that means it's moving to the left and speeding up. Where line B is moving to the left and slowing down. All right, so that's your basics here. What's the difference between graphs one and two and three and four? Well, graphs one and two have a constant velocity. 
graphs 3 and 4 are accelerating. Okay, graphs 1 and 3 are bo both moving to the right or positive. Graphs 2 and 4 are both moving to the left because they have negative velocity. Okay, I hope this helps.